I have shot this video like three times because I keep rambling. But I'm rambling because I'm excited because I got my BFP. 17, 17 cycles and we're finally there. So, you know, PCOS is beatable, thank God. And, um, and we're, because of my, my abnormal uterus, my, um, bicornea or septic uterus, we have about a 60% chance of the sticking of carrying the baby to term. Really hopeful right now. Be positive, by the way. I need you to be positive for me. Um, I need you guys to help me be strong. Um, but now I feel less crazy because last week, I, was it last week already? Two weeks ago, when we were down visiting my mother-in-law, I was crazy. I was, I was crazy. Like we started talking about um, possibly never having kids or something and I started bawling. bawling. Which is very unlike me. I know you guys don't know this, but I do not. I'm not a crier. I'm not a crier. Unless it's a Lifetime movie. And then all bets are off. All bets are definitely off. Um, so, yeah. I, I am really excited. And I've been reading everything I can. Um, I'm really excited. Um, my husband and I had talked a lot about um, how he wanted me to tell him when I found out and um, how he wanted me to tell him if he wanted me to do something cute um, because everybody has, you know, their cute, I just told my husband we're pregnant video and my husband said I will be mad if you do one of those things you need to tell me immediately. And so I called him and I told him immediately. And then he made me take a confirmation test. Just to make sure. <laughs> um, so I did that and, and it was positive. And it's a bright, it was a really dark, you know, just as dark as the, um, the, the control line that always is there. It was the same color, which um, a lot of you, when you take your tests, I've noticed, and I don't know if this, I guess it's because you're taking it early and there's not that much HCG in your systems, but the line tends to be faint at first and then it gets darker. Right, I don't know. I think it was because I was so far along by the time I took a test because I had waited because I'm always, every cycle, I think I'm pregnant, every cycle. And so I always, um, I always think I mean, pregnancy doesn't feel any different than not being pregnant. I guess for me so far, except for I've been burping a lot. I don't know. It's weird. I burp. I'm not a burper. I generally do not burp. But I've been burpy. Like, a lot. Far more than normal. So, um, yeah. My dad, we, we happened to be out, and so my dad got me, I'm visiting my parents, by the way. Um, so my dad got me a ginger molasses cookie, because um, I thought ginger would help, and it has. So anytime I feel nauseous, I just eat like a little thumb size, or not even a thumb size. Yeah, well, I'll just say thumb size piece, and um, that tends to help. It's probably low blood sugar or something, so... Um, I haven't eaten very much of the cookie, <laughs> but I take it when I need it, um, and, cause I was nauseous today. But other than that, I mean, week six, I had super tender breasts, like ridiculously tender breasts, um, four weeks ago, three weeks ago, three, three and four weeks ago, um, it was terrible. Like, my husband tends to like, because I'm amply endowed in that area, so my husband tends to touch me a lot. And sometimes he's kind of crude and he likes to do bongos. And he was bongoing me. And that was extremely uncomfortable. Hurt very bad. 
not uncomfortable, embarrassing, because if you're embarrassed, you wouldn't be married to my husband. <laughs> um, it's just, it was very, very, like, really ridiculously tender. And now they're sore, but it comes and goes. Like, right now they're not too bad, but earlier today, oh. So, um, yeah. Excited. Um, but now I need to do my, I probably won't even get to the, into the, by the time I get back over there and get an appointment, I probably won't even get in until week eight or nine. But they might make some sort of exception because I'm high risk pregnancy. Like, apparently that's what they keep telling me that I'm high risk because of the PCOS and, um, it's not the PCOS, it's the bicornate uterus. Well, the PCOS probably plays some sort of part in it, I would assume. <sighs> Mostly the bicornate uterus. I'm such a freak. Um, yeah. So, this is me being ridiculously happy. And we're, and I'm already, like, looking at baby stuff, and it, it's nine months. It's 243 days, possibly. Although the likelihood is that I will need a cesarean, probably week. Um, hopefully I'll make it to week 32. Week 34, week 35. I hope to make it in the mid-30s before that, um, but... It depends on my uterus and the space, and now they can't do an MRI on me. Pretty sure they can't do an MRI. I know they can't do it when you're pregnant, so. Um, so now they can't see what my uterus looks like. <sighs> so, yeah. Now I'm stuck. Because I got a crazy uterus. And hopefully it will fit a baby full term, or, is, or I can carry it close to full term. I'm being optimistic that I can. I need to be optimistic that I can. And, yeah, I'm really excited. And I'm, I think I'm a little bit excited, too, because my 30th birthday is in two months. Two months? It's a month and change. A little over a month. So, I got pregnant for my 30th birthday. Yes! Um, that was a, definitely something I hoped to have a child before my 30th, but that didn't work out to be in the cards for me. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited, and I want to get over, and I want... I'm an instant gratification person, so I'm ready for the baby pop out. Pop. I'm ready. Boom. Let's go. Takes two hours and what? Knocked up. She had the baby. I want the baby. Pop it out. Let's go. Let's play. So, as you can imagine, now months can be very, very difficult for me. Um, apps on my phone are somewhat helpful because it gives me something new to look forward to. Unfortunately, usually the um, developmental things are usually like a weekly thing and <laughs> I want to go faster so um, whatever. I'm just excited and I'm really happy so of course if I post a video later of me bawling because I lost the baby well you guys will understand but I just can't I just can't do that right now I'm really excited. I'm really happy. Um, yeah. I think that's... I think that's where I'm at. Baby dust to all of you. Still trying. And um, I hope you... I hope you get there. And I hope you get there soon. <sighs>